This is Ozarks Fox AM. Welcome back to the second hour of Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Kelly Smith. And I'm Jeremy Rabe. <laughs> you sound like you I are don't know, a Kelly. robot. Thank you. That was. I don't know. Sometimes when we get ready to see the open, things, I'm very random in my brain. Uh -huh. And I go, I wonder what would happen if I talked like a robot right now. Well, you kind of had that resonance, like like a, a vibration going on there that sounded. Uh, I'm Jeremy Rabe. Do you hear what I'm talking about? Yes. I don't know how I do that. I don't know how you do that Did either. you ever see a show in the 80s called Small Wonder? No. A bit of a little girl robot? No. <laughs> Sorry, that reminds me of Small Wonder. <laughs> if anybody good. out there remembers Small Wonder, there's a little girl robot, it was hysterical, and she talked like was this. Was it a, cat, a cartoon or what? No, live action. It was live action? It was a little action? girl who played okay. the robot. But what's funny is they, they okay, Clint the cameraman Clint knows. Clint saw it, yes. Of course he did. So they let her go to school. Like, she was a real-looking robot. But nobody mm. on the show ever questioned her speaking like this. Nobody said anything about that. No! That Sorry. That is so strange. I don't know why I got into that. I apologize, Kelly. Don't apologize. I apologize I, you know, how, this for show, how random. Honestly, I sometimes forget there's a camera. It's just being ourselves. We just t do what we do. I would love for the audience, you know what we need to do, is just set up a camera or a Facebook Live from the corner so they can see how chaotic it is during commercials. <laughs> and that it we're was, running. It, Elise has been running around yeah, today. She's out of crazy. breath, yes. losing her voice. Right. You've been running. I've been running. Uh-huh. We have. And when we dish it next, I have to tell you, I was getting our stuff set up for dishing it. Yeah. And Chef Mark Millman from the Chateau on the Lake was there. And he saw our ingredients. <gasps> and what did he say? Not happy about it. What? Are you kidding me? He looked at me and goes, are you using canned chicken? Oh, <laughs> well. And you know what he said? What? He's like, that's one step up from cat food. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my gosh. You know what? I used to think that, but canned chicken is pretty good. But here's the deal. We have time constraints, and I have to have the chicken And done. he's a professional chef who makes amazing risotto and salmon and in, desserts. In a very short time. He's, and it was so good. I'm telling you, Did you I, have to I go. didn't tell you this. They, they had two little hearts left over, and they are in our refrigerator. Are they? Thank the Lord. Yes, they are. That, I could have just taken the whole thing yes. and eat it by myself. Okay. I, I love it. At least, so, you is. know, the weather is crazy. You've been running around ragged. Have you had a break yet? Um, no, but okay. it's okay. It's okay because these are days that, you know, I, I enjoy being a service to you guys and helping you stay safe. And so I don't mind. It's fine. We're good. Um, okay, good. <laughs> we do not have any severe thunderstorm warnings out there right now. Uh, just some showers and rumbles of thunder. Some good news is we do have that severe thunderstorm watch has been allowed to expire and be canceled. So the severe threat is over for us this morning, although we still have some thunderstorms with the risk for some heavy rain and lightning down from Melbourne, Ash Flat, and then getting out of the area towards Poplar Bluff. Uh, but again, we've got lightning as threats this morning, heavy rain and icing too. Still a little bit of a freezing drizzle on the backside of this front. So winter weather advisories do continue until noon. Ice storm warnings go until noon for the threat of this ice. We're looking at much more in the way of ice accumulation to the north and west, about uh, two, uh, two tenths to four tenths of an inch there. And then that ice accretion about a tenth of an inch in Springfield. Still have a lot of flood alerts too, warnings and watches because of the heavy rain and pretty saturated conditions already on our rivers and streams. The temperatures continue to tumble. Uh, we're now in the 40s in Ava. It's 58 in West Plains and 25 in Clinton. Temperatures continue to head down as we have through the day today. Uh, that's it for warming up. We're done. Back into to the 20s as we head through the afternoon. All of the uh, rain will clear to the east here pretty soon by about 10, 11. 7 a.m. Don't expect this as we had through the entire afternoon. Some clouds linger behind. Again, temperatures head the other way today. In the 20s by the end of the, end of the day, we drop to 9 in Springfield tonight. Temperatures in the teens and single digits. 20s tomorrow despite sunshine. Wind chills today will start to uh, pick up. We'll have these wind chills in the teens by the end of the day. And then we're looking at uh, wind chills near and below zero tonight. A very cold start at the bus stop tomorrow. And we keep things cold through Friday. Friday, wind chills continue to be in the teens. We'll have temperatures at and a little bit below average through the rest of the week, so we're done with, with that big warm up uh, for now. Again, we've got these falling temperatures today. Uh, falling temperatures today with um, an end to that wintry mix. Cold sunshine on Friday, a little bit warmer on Saturday. And then we're looking at these rain and snow chances by Sunday and Monday and maybe into Tuesday. We're looking at rain in the afternoon and then a rain snow mix uh, through the overnight because temperatures in the afternoon will be above freezing, but uh, on the overnights will be 
at and below freezing. So have kind of a little bit of a mix of both. But again, moral story, if you're about to head out, it's just a mess, whether it's rain or ice or, or tree damage or whatever it is. We, everybody's dealing with something this morning. Jeremy Kelly. Right. At least yeah. I do want to say we just got a visitor post um, from Richard Albertson. Mm -hmm. um, and he wanted to thank you, Elisa. There you he, go. He's so nice. Uh, Richard, if you're watching, he wanted to thank you because uh, they, he and his wife, I guess, have been up since 4 a.m. watching you, letting you keep them informed, and he said you're doing a great right. job, and thanks for the updates. Oh, thank you. It, it's truly a pleasure and, and a privilege to be able to do that today and every day, so thank you. Thank so you. They're, that they're is loving, wonderful. Yeah. Yes. And again, we need people like that to help us. We do, and, we, and it's nice to be appreciated, and like you said, she's doing a fantastic job. <laughs> thank you. And I know with Elisa, yes. I can see uh, her, her brain and exactly. her mouth yeah. have to connect because there's so much going on. Yeah. You have to get it out verbally then. <laughs> and I'm tired and I need more coffee. So, <laughs> so yeah, things come out weird. I, I just, you know, yeah, we need an extra second to connect today. <laughs> just someone bring the girl some coffee. <laughs> yes. There we go. You deserve it. <laughs> Is this a little bit strange with the uh, spring-like weather mixed in with the winter weather? It, so... For this time of year where we can get those swings back and forth as we try to transition to spring, not totally out of the question, but for my job as a communicator, it's really hard. Just one of those things would be a lot to tell you uh -huh. about. And we've got two, because I don't want to leave anybody out, right? We've got to talk about the ice storm warning. We've got to talk about the severe weather. And then I'm literally talking about everything I've ever learned in just one day. Uh, she loves it. Just one doing? day. That's All fantastic. Right. All of it. Thank you. We appreciate you and our viewers do as well. Oh, thanks, okay, guys. more cooking coming up. Jeremy and I will be dishing it with Smith and Rabe, so stay with us. It will not nearly be as good as the Chateau. <laughs> I know. Chef Mark was amazing. Yes, he was. That's